<laughs> what was this travesty that I just witnessed? Mortal Kombat Annihilation is a fucking abomination. And this is well known around the movie community, but this is my first time re-watching it after many years. And I it was really a fuzzy memory for me. But this rewatch, oh my goodness, dude. From start to finish, about 98% of this movie is horrendous. We're talking some of the worst CGI and computer graphics we've ever seen ever in a film. Um, wooden acting, cardboard acting, some of the worst acting I've ever seen in my life is included in this film. The guy playing Jax, I got to give some credit. It looked like he was having some fun and he wasn't as wooden as the other actors that he's playing aside. I am a fan of James Remar, but him playing Raiden is one of the worst performances I've ever seen. He's just like, Shao Kahn. And the dead, lifeless expression in his eyes, I don't know if he, maybe he was just there for the paycheck, but James Remar in this film is terrible. I also think the ladies playing Katana, Jade, and Sonya Blade are also terrible. The only character I really kind of cared about was Jax. I got to admit, this review is coming from somebody who's not a mega hardcore Mortal Kombat nerd. I have seen the first Paul W.S. Anderson film, and I have seen the recent one that just came out in 2021, which I thought could have been a little bit better, but I still rather enjoyed. This film, however, is easily the worst Mortal Kombat film ever. Um, in my opinion, but I'm sure many people around the world can agree. Everything about this film is so bad it's good, but particularly the fight choreography is absolutely laughable. Like we're talking bottom of the barrel. The way that one character would flip in the air after he gets punched and then he lands in a completely different direction when he hits the ground. The extremely obvious use of stunt doubles with certain characters like Raiden. We can tell James Remar is not throwing a punch whatsoever. And the stunt double was a way younger guy, which you can point out right away because the camera work and the director don't take the effort to hide the face of the stunt double in certain shots. This is some of the worst fight choreography I've ever seen ever in a film. The villains are very hard to take seriously. Shao Kahn, the guy playing him, Brian Thompson, and I don't wanna to sound too rude or too asshole-ish in this review, but I just gotta be straight up. Brian Thompson, the guy playing Shao Kahn, I don't know what the fuck is going on with this performance. He's like, and the portal will remain open. Just, just the way his voice is shaking. He's like, it's his glorious. It's like, this guy is on cocaine speed and probably any drug that you can think of playing Shao Kahn. Like, this is one of the worst villains I've ever seen in my life. But I, I got to admit that I got so many laughs watching this fucking guy just Oh man, awful, terrible, horrendous, so bad it's good. This movie absolutely checks out all of those 100%. The actor playing Liu Kang is a little bit of a mixed bag for me. He's as bad as the other cast members, but for some reason, the way the actor plays him does make me kind of want to like the character in this Annihilation film. Maybe that's the highest praise that I can give because for the majority of the film, Liu Kang is getting his ass whooped, like like from left to right. It isn't really until the ending where he comes across this character, I'm forgetting the name, and he's like, you must find your inner beast, your inner animal. And then at the very end, in the worst scene of the film, in the finale, um, Liu Kang transforms into this giant, awful CGI ridden monster or animal that takes over and that's how he's able to defeat Shao Kong. And my bad that I keep repeating myself, but the use of special effects and CGI on this animal that Liu Kang transforms into is top five or top 10 worst special effects that I've ever seen in any movie so far in my 26 years of living. This movie was directed by John Leonetti, who also did the first Annabelle, which I'm not a fan of. He also did a movie that I wasn't a fan of called The Silence. Now, this is easily his worst film he's ever made. Again, it's not the shit on anybody. It's just this film, the way it was directed, the camera work, the editing is awful. 
overall, this is bottom of the barrel, guys. I got a bunch of laughs out of Mortal Kombat Annihilation, but none of them were intentional whatsoever. The acting overall is extremely cardboard. Everybody has a question mark over their head. The way the lines are delivered are very laughable. I would have to say that there's not one good fight scene, but Jax's final fight against the weird, creepy, horn, uh, mutant animal guy, the way that his arms were ripped off and he was still punching without the steel arms, I kind of liked if I'm going to throw any kind of credit out there, but it's still not a great fight due to the terrible CGI. But I don't want to get too long-winded, guys. I'm going to move on to my personal fro rating. I'm going to give Mortal Kombat Annihilation a two-piece out of ten. And that's it, y'all. It's your boy Fro. Do you get any sort of enjoyment out of Mortal Kombat Annihilation? Is there anything that you like? Any percentage of? Do you actually enjoy the film? Or do you think this is just a flaming pile of trash? Like, straight-up garbage dump juice material? Um... Comment below your thoughts. In the meantime, between time, I'm on to the next review. Hope you enjoyed. Fro Thizzle, out. Peace.